is gonna be it's, it's just gonna be interesting uh, because my mother has bought me makeup on Facebook it's fine right it's fine my mom saw this thing on Facebook months ago now so like I've had this for months she saw this stuff that was uh, like multi chrome shades for eyeshadows uh, so when she bought it I'm sure that it looked a lot nicer than what this looks like but um this this came in a Coles bag. <laughs> ah, it makes me so nervous. I'm gonna need my glasses to read this actually. We're going for my old prescription, so hopefully it still works. As you can see, multi chrome shade shifting pigments. Ooh! Features. Uh, multi chrome, different shades in the same product while light and angle shift. Gives you an extra and futuristic look. No full stop. Um, <laughs> Face slash body slash nails. Ideal for eyeshadow, highlighting, lip setting, and nail coating. Multifunctional makeup that will definitely hit pan on. Pigmented. Full on pigments and coverage all over application. Smooth, made from ultra thin powder and baked into the pan. Each application is smooth and rich. No chalky, streaky makeup here. Wet, intense, rich pigments which give a wet finish. Mix with liquid, medium, water or toner also will do to achieve an extra wet, even glass skin finish. I don't know where my mum bought this from. I know it was on Facebook, but that's, that's how it came. <laughs> Makeup lovers here, uh, so we know that there are some companies that they just, they just, they just on the, they just on the, on the, on the dodgier, dodgier side of things, the shiftier side of things, the like questionable kind of sides of things. I'm not saying that specifically what this is. I'm just saying that I'm a little bit distrusting. There isn't even a brand name. Now that I think about it, there's not a brand name. No branding. Okay, cool. So I can't even say what shop this came from. Um, so... <laughs> my mother bought this with good intentions. And I trust her, and I love her, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I feel so much love because she saw these and she's like, My daughter can use those for her cute little YouTube videos. Yes! And she didn't have to do that, so, so much love. Uh, so any of the criticisms that I give today, um, are, are not on my mother because she is an amazing human being and she has bought this for me because she wanted to um so that's awesome but yeah just the way that it came makes me nervous first things first we're gonna swatch them on ourselves swatch them on our arm if there's any burning or tingling sensations we're not putting them on our face how do i get this off hello open sesame oh oh that's nice oh that's nice Reminds me of Need for Speed Underground. Ah, look at all the color changes! Ah! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, this is so cute! Yay! Okay, I love that. Okay, so these are the swatches. Um, they're. I put them on the stupidest part of my arm every time I do swatches. There we are. These are the swatches. Um, let's see if I can like zoom in on my arm. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna get like the color shiftiness on camera. So now that all those beautiful swatches are done, we are just going to start setting up our face to be done up. Our face is our canvas, yes? If we are Bob Ross, we are preparing our canvas. So, to prepare my canvas so that it really takes in all of the pigments and the colors and lets it pop through the skin, I'm just getting my trusty dusty best friend scene stick and I'm just covering up all of my problem areas. Being my eyes, because I have a caffeine addiction, I never sleep, and I also recently started getting eczema around my eyes. I'm one of those people where my skin is just always crusty, dusty, and gross with eczema. Um, and recently my skin is just like, hey, let's throw another curveball at you and start putting the eczema around your eyes. You can't apply lotion to your eyeballs, now can you? And specifically says on the packaging, don't do that. So I'm just kind of screwed. <laughs> Love that for me. <laughs> Going to need more foundation. What? Luckily, this is the cheapest stuff I can buy. <laughs> wow, what a flags. 
all these other beauty gurus and just like here's my foundation that's like $150 and I'm just like this one was 20 my face is now all based and looking perfect and ready to go so I'm going to test this out two different ways because it says that it can go on dry it says that it can go on wet so I think on one of my eyes I'm gonna do like a graphic liner and then the other eye I'm gonna do it as like my typical like cut crease kind of eye and I'm gonna put that in the cut crease and see if that really like pops through right so that's the plan all right I'm gonna basify my eyes first so when I say basify I mean put on like my natural eyeshadow so for my natural eyeshadow I literally just cake on the palest color that I can find because I am pasty and then I just get like a little puppy we discussed this when I film we have silence good puppy Okay, so I just get <laughs> So I get a palest color that I can find and basify my eyes and then I get some some of the darker browns just to add some depth into my eye. This palette has a lot of like ready browns, so I'm gonna try and work with the cooler kind of brown. So this bad boy and that bad boy over there, just to give some depth so it's like, oh her eyes are natural. But also some of her features are still popping through. That kind of saucy piece, yeah. So I'm just gonna get this big fluffy brush, a soft definer. Ooh, and then I'm just gonna apply that all kind of over my eye just to make a base so that I don't get that weird little creasy thing that happens because my skin no matter what I do is so dry I'm also the teeniest tiniest bit nervous to put these pigments on my eyeballs because my skin is also prone to staining uh, when it comes to like your pinky purpley ready kind of shades so I'm afraid that uh, some of these might stain just because like why not um, so, so I'm just getting the lighter, cooler brown that I showed before and chucking that in my crease just to give some depth. And then I'll grab the darker one and then build that on top. Makeup routines get kind of repetitive after a while. Get this color, put it in the crease. Get this color, put it in the inner corner. Get this color, put it in the crease. It's just kind of like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Just go, just go, just keep going. Just keep whiz banging through it. I never whiz bang through it because I'm always rambling about something. Sometimes it's otters, sometimes it's pancakes, sometimes it's donuts. Now I want donuts! Ah! So for my under eye, I'm just gonna follow the same process except I'm gonna start from dark and then go to lightest. So I'm just gonna get a smudge brush with the darkest color, ooh! And then I'm just gonna like line the like bottom lashes of my eyes. As I said before, left eye, she's getting dosed. She's getting marinated in all of the pretty colors. Whereas right eye, you are getting that whoop, pristine kind of graphic liner. Is it gonna come out how I envisioned in my head? Probably not. Am I gonna try anyway? I I'm thinking that I'm gonna start off with the lightest colors at the front and then just kind of blend them all together. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work. I hope that it does, but I want to use as many of the colors as possible. Um, so we're just we're just gonna go with it. So we're just gonna get this on the duta. I'm really nervous to put this on my eye, so I'm just putting it in that. <sighs> just putting it in that, and then I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Okay, we got this. We got this. I'm just gonna start. Pressing it. Oh damn. I'm just gonna start like pressing it in. Oh diggity damn. Oh hey babes. I'm gonna fix it afterwards, but already that looks so cute. That is like some high fashion kind of like it just imagine like a chunky like that is some high fashion kind of ow! So now we're gonna get the like red yellow one. And then I'm also just gonna get the doodle. I'm just gonna dip her in. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Like I am like about to wet myself. I am so nervous, but everything's fine. Um, so we're just gonna, <gasps> okay, <gasps> okay. This is amazing. I'm so glad that my mother bought me these. These look so cute already. Before I go any further, cause I want this to have kind of a crisp wing, I'm just gonna get one of these elf tabs and chuck it on my eye. That way I get like that crisp wing that I'm not having to fix afterwards. So I'm gonna be really gentle with a little duta brush that I'm trying to be so gentle today. That's why I'm so focused because usually I'm like around about like screaming and stuff. Uh, today is not that day because this is Luke Pig's, Luke, these are Luke Pigments. This is loose pigment so if I scream it might just fly away. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this in the outer corner. All right, so we're gonna put the purple one on now. Oh, I love this so much. Ah, oh, the five brand. And then I'm just gonna flip this bad boy over and use the small side to try and blend those two together a bit. Not gonna be able to blend them in much, but as I said, I wanna get like as many colors in this as possible because I want you all to see every single one. I don't know why though, because I'm not gonna be able to tell you where I got them because my mum has no idea. But that's okay because if you see something similar to this, maybe you can, you'll just, maybe, maybe this will just inspire you to find your own. Just gonna put this on. 
I'm just gonna put this on. Oh, my eyes are rainbowed all different sides. Yes, I love that. That is so cute. Okay, so that is that is all the pigments on, and now comes for the real stress of it because I'm gonna get this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna try and blend in the tops of them into my skin. So I just hope that that doesn't like into the top part of the eye look. So I hope that that doesn't ruin anything. I'll just pack on some more pigments if I have to, but I just want to kind of like blend it in so it's like this rainbow smoky eye kind of thing because all of these colors have like a black undertone like they've got a black base so i just want to blend this out so it's a rainbow like metallic smoky eye which i think is kind of working like if you set a bunch of metals on fire because fun fact uh metals in flame will go different colors uh depending on the metal so potassium off the top of my head goes red um so does strontium uh, whereas copper goes blue That's how those magic flame magic tricks work because they're just spraying metal into the flame I'm Just gonna peel this bad boy off Oh snap this looks insane This looks insane. I love I love the I love <gasps> Like, she's intense, but also she's all kinds of good intense, yes? Now that I have that bad boy cleaned up, I just, I just, I'm blown, I'm blown, I'm blown away by this. Just to kind of like bring it all together and like the under eye out all together, I'm going to go back in with the blue shimmer, blue shimmer, the blue to purple duochrome, and I'm just going to put that on my bottom lashes and buff that out as well, because you can't see the blue as much as I want to. Um, so we're just gonna hope that this being this close to my eye isn't a bad thing. Um, I just want to tie everything together. No one be alarmed. I want my whole face to be color shifting. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do my whole face in this because like I would not be mad. If anything, I would be very excited to do that. I'm gonna need a lot more things, but like I'm gonna need a lot more tubs, but also like that is that is definitely something that I would enjoy to do. Okay, but that is it for like the color shifting pigments of this eye. So now we're gonna go into something a little bit more extreme and we're gonna go for some graphic liner because this says you can mix it with water. So I wanna see how good it mixes with water because um, if you clean something, babes, I'm gonna investigate. I'm the Nancy Drew of makeup, not really. <laughs> okay, so I have a little like a little thing with some water in it and then we're gonna go in with, I think, because I seem to have the most of it, I'm gonna get some of the purple pigment. I'm just gonna try and scrape some of it in without like damaging too much of it. And we're just gonna just gonna mix this in so that we've just got some beautiful amounts of pigments. Maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. So I'm just gonna try and do some graphic eyeliner. Oh, you're ready. Okay, let's have a cute little intimate moment. And then just like really, really watch the stress on my face. So, right eye, come on baby cakes, you got this. So we're just gonna flick, drag, Hope for best. So, I'm just gonna flick right eye. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Flick. Oh, she looks cute. Oh, damn, that looks really pretty. Like, I'm really hoping that this doesn't hurt my eyes because I love this. This is insane. I definitely want to do more makeup videos with this. She looks so cute. She's just stunning. Um, she's just stunning. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and get some of the graphic liner. Um, baby cake's happening. So just getting some more of the like watery mixture on my brush. And then we are just gonna get this and we are just gonna hope that we aren't gonna mess it up. Um, so we're just gonna... Okay, so that's, that's the basic line that we're going for. And then I'm just gonna fill her in a bit more. Um, I am freaking loving this stuff this stuff is so cute i want to cover my whole face in it literally if i'm gonna be on a red carpet again i'm doing my eyes with this graphic liner um and having them as two different colors so like having like the blue purple on one and then like the the purple red on the other and then just have some people being like wait where do my eyes change color and me just be like because i'm just fabulous like that like this looks that looks just cool that one just looks like some like both look good 
Both look good. I prefer this, I think, because it's just cleaner. But, like, this still looks good. Um, I wish I had a third eye. That way I could do, like, a cut crease with them. But you get the kind of gist with this eye anyway. I just, I really wanted to see how they worked wet. And wet, they still work so, so good. So now that our eyes are done like this, I'm just going to pop in a teeny bit of highlighter, do our brows, and go in with the eye feathers. So, for today, I'm, of course, using my favourite highlighter. The, there's a lid loose. Of course, today I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Set the Tone highlighter. She is my favorite. I don't know what it is about her. I think because it just, it works so well with my complexion. Uh, pure freaking white because I am so pale. As I said, I don't like going out in the sun. She burns. I'm just gonna do a quick little highlight underneath the brow. That was a lot of highlight. Oh, well. We're just going to put it on the inner corner here. And I feel as though the white is just really going to complement all of the colours that are happening on my eye right now. Oh, so next step, I'm just going to go in with my brows. So for brows, I don't do anything fancy. I just love a good, thick, fluffy duffy Cara Delevingne brow. I just want my brows to be as thick and as fluffy and as caterpillary as possible. So I just mix this big one from the James Charles palette and this, like, little one over here from the James Charles palette. Because not only are my brows, like thickish uh they are also very very dark so the mixture of both of those colors just kind of bring them together like into a beautiful beautiful three-part harmony yes so i just fill them in with my brow brush and then because i recently got a beautiful pet scorpion that i call fish i don't hairspray my brows anymore because hairspray kills scorpions and the last thing i want to do is suffocate my beautiful baby cakes fish because he may be an idiot but I love my idiot. Now that the brows are filled in, I'm just gonna go in with my eyebrow gel instead of the hairspray that I used to use, and I'm just gonna spiky them on up. Ooh, we've got our fluffy duffy brows. Ah! Now that our brows are looking ooh, so thick, so fluffy duffy, I'm just gonna go in with the lashes. I love lashes. Lashes really like make or break a makeup look. To prepare my lashes, because I have so droopy lashes, I just get my eyelash guillotine and I do not behead the lashes. There is the potential to behead them, but today we are not doing that. So just give them a cute little lift. A cute little lift. And then I'm just going to get some mascara. Do it off on my hand, the little excess tail. And then for eye feathers today, I'm just going in with my Kiss Brazier lashes. Ooh, we get a bit saucy with these ones. So I just get them off the little thing, put them in between my pinchy boys that are naturally flamingo, and I just get my white glue. I like this glue because it dries down into a cute blue hue, and at that point I know it is safe to this on my eyes and it's not going to tear out my natural lashes or it's just not going to stick in general because like the last thing you want to do is one tear out your natural lashes and two just like have it just like go on and off and on and off and like it not be secure because if a tornado is happening you still want your eye feathers to be able to stick to your face right eye feathers can be expensive if you're buying like a pack of eye feathers a week and you're wearing them only two times uh and a pack of eye feathers in australian like the good ones cost about 16 dollars. so therefore if you're spending like 16 dollars once a week for 50 two weeks of the year. Where is my phone? I can do this mathematics on my phone. 16 by 52 is equal to $832 on eye feathers. $832 on eye feathers. No, 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 no. I buy the $4 pairs most of the time, except for these ones. These are the expensive ones. I usually buy $4 pairs and I make sure that I use those bad boys like 10 times. These ones I try and use like also 10 times, but then also even more. So then it only cost me like $1.60 per use. <laughs> mathematics. I can be smart. What side are you? Left, 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 right, left. I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> I just filmed my unedited makeup tutorial, so I'm still in like the weirdest mood ever. But that's okay. Maybe I need another coffee. Coffee! Eye feather is now tacky, so we're just going to put her on. The way that I do eye feathers is that I stick it in the middle first, and then I pull across the inner, and then pull across the outer, and then just kind of like pinch them together with the pinchy boys. Hopefully the pinchy boys still don't have glue attached to them from earlier today. Oh, no, we good! We're gonna get this first try. Woohoohoo! Left eye is now looking fabulous. Look at that. Just look at the difference that that made with the, just the, look at the difference that eye feathers make. Eye feathers make every look better. I said every video, but like, eye feathers literally will like just uplift a look. They, they give a lift to the look. It's just a teeny little bit of spice, but that spice makes the whole entire look. And she is looking so good. Ow! Okay, so now that left eye is looking fabulous, you just gotta do the same thing to right eye. Eye feathers are now on and they're looking so fluttery, freaking perfect. Look at this eye. Look at right eye. I just, right eye, I just, left eye's good, don't get me wrong. Like I just, I, the, the, the right eye, right eye, this, 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 just like, 
Mother, you picked so well. This is amazing. I just, I love. Go mom, go mom, go, go, go mom, go mom. You bought some amazing makeup. Go mom. Ah! Now that that's all off, the eyes are ooh, so done, so perfect. I'm just gonna go on with the rest of the stuff. So I'm just gonna go on with the contour. The co uh, um. So I'm just gonna go on with the contour. Uh, contour. How do you say contour? Contour. Contour. We're just going to go on with the contour. Uh, con contour. 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 Why did this just like slip out of my brain? Co contour. Contour. Okay, maybe it's because I'm used to saying it like pilaf, where I say contour. Uh, contour. Just gonna go on with the contour. 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 It doesn't sound right. I'm just gonna go on with the. Gonna go on with the shaping of my face with the with the marky mark palette. Um, I'm just gonna make a fish face. How do you say it? Con contour. Con con contour. Contour. Contour? No, because that means that there's a W. Fish face. And then for my nose, just a cute little flick. Whoop! And a cute little flick. Whoop! So I'm just gonna get my Makeup's Revolution set the tone highlighter, the same that I used on the inner corner, and I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones. I love this wing liner. I love the liner. Um, and then for my mouth, I'm just gonna do a dark face. Yeah! She's glistening like donut. Now I want donuts. So because I'm gonna be putting this on my lips, I don't think that I can put it just straight on. So I'm just gonna put some of my Carmex on to one, like hopefully act as like a bit of a glue to the pigment, but two, I let it chat. What color do I want to do? I think I'm gonna do the blue color. I don't wanna do, oh, do I wanna do the mixing? Okay, I'm gonna do blue on the top lip. Yes, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna mix them because that's gonna look even wilder. Okay, so we're just gonna go with the blue one. We're just gonna, we're just gonna use the Duta to put this on. Um, so try and use it like lipstick is what I'm going with. So we're just gonna... Oh. My gosh. If you wanna be a mermaid or something, dude, get this. looks so good. Okay, I think that's it. That's as even as I'm gonna get my lips, but oh my gosh. All the lids are on. All the lids are on. Excellent. Oh my gosh, look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my lips. Just look at, look at this. There's literally color shifts. My lips are both like green and then like purple, like in the darkest. Oh my gosh, like when I look down right now, my lips are purple. But when I look up at that, my lips are green. This is insane. This is insane. I love this. I love this. I love, I have no idea. I have no idea what company my mum bought this from, but this is amazing. This eyeshadow, I'm going to be doing this so often because I love it so, so much. I probably won't revisit this one, but as I said, I just wanted to demonstrate all the colors. The lips, I, depending on what look I'm doing, I'll probably do that. But like this is like the coolest, like saucy, everyday kind of, oh, kind of look. I just, I, th th this. This is, this is, this is how I want to look all the time. This is how I want to look all the time because I feel just like this, just like that part of my face, I feel so fierce. I feel like I could give some Ariana Grande a run for her money. That's how incredible I feel. I can't do the like, <laughs> I can't do any of that. But at the same time, like I still think I could give her a run for her money because this feels amazing. It goes on fabulously. This is insane. This is amazing. It goes on so good. Packaging, awful. Zero out of 10. Uh, the makeup itself, amazing. Like 10 out of 10, this is awesome. My mind is like, my mind is like blowing at the moment and you can kind of see it. This is just, this is, I just, I'm rambling so much because I just love this so, so much. But like, this is amazing. Oh my gosh! But now that the makeup is watched, the eyes have been done, the lips are looking, ooh, so shiny, so emerald, but also at the same time, so amethyst, it's just confusing me. But now that the lips, the eyes, the face is done, and because I'm a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, there's only one thing left to do, and that is a sexy, a slow mouse. Boom. <laughs> I want to show you this color shift. Okay, so purple, green, and then these ones look yellow, red, purple, and like a bluey kind of green, all right? So then when I bring the camera down here, look at that! Now the eye looks red. The lips look purple, like purple, purple. And then this looks green, that looks yellow, that looks red, and that looks purple. Like, just, it's like two different faces of makeup. Like, where does that color, 
there's where the color starts to shift. Hello, I see you, because like, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. But now that we've had the green, purple, green, purple kind of moment, the sexy slow most of dark makeup is on, tested and swatched. That is it for today's videos. I hate this part of every single video. I hate this part because it means this video is over. It means that I can start working on other videos, but at the same time, it means that this video specifically is over. And I don't like it because I like filming. Putting pretty colors on my face and I like seeing you guys. But unfortunately, that means that at the moment, I have to say tutalu. I have to say goodbye. I have to say farewell. Uh, just for the moment though, I will be back. But before I do say a proper goodbye, there is something really, really important that I need to tell every single one of you. And I don't know if you're prepared for what I have to say, but I unfortunately, with so much responsibility on my shoulders, I, I need for every single one of you to know this. So I'm just going to pull you in for a cute little intimate moment because we, we have to have some words. We have to have a chat. We have to have some talks. So I hope, I hope, I hope you're ready. I hope you're rugged up in a cute little blanket. You have a cute cup of tea next to you. Maybe a cup of coffee if you're as extreme as I am. But I need for every single one of you to know something so incredibly important. And that is that you are perfect in every single shape, way and form. You are beautiful from the inside out, heart of gold. You are intelligent, you just have such an incredible mind. Anything that you think of, you can just like bring to life, yes? You just have an incredible mind. You are just magnificent, amazing, and just an absolute marvel to look at. And I just, I'm in awe, I'm in shock. I'm always like, what? You blow my mind, you take my breath away. You just make every single day an absolute pleasure to be a part of. You make my day so much better. You just give me so much love and support and I just, I get all of the emotions and all the tears and stuff and I don't know how to cope with my life. But at the same time, I'm so grateful for every single one of you and I just want you to know that here you are loved and you're accepted no matter what. And I've seen your beauty firsthand and it's made my life so much better and it's just changed me for the better and I'm so grateful for you. But there is unfortunately a lot of people out there, like a ridiculous amount of people, like the calculator can't even and figure out how ridiculous the amount of people is that is out there in the world that ha hasn't seen your beauty. I hope that sentence made sense, but there isn't a lot of people out there. There is an incredible, insane amount of people out there who do not know your beauty, who do not know your perfection, and because of that, their lives are meaningless. Doo doo. Obsolete <laughs> kind of lives. Like, why do, why do they even bother? Like, why do they even bother? How do they even live? How do they even live without knowing your perfection, your beauty, your amazingness, your intelligence, your just. Oh! How do they, how do they go about their lives not knowing you? Like, doesn't it feel so empty? Like, it'll feel empty, right? Like, it'll feel empty, like a longingness to know something, to like, make their hearts feel whole, but they just can't figure it out until they know your perfection. I feel as though it's gonna be one of those kinds of things. So, you need to do me the biggest favor ever. I need you to go out into the world and give their lives meaning. I need you to go out into the world, strut your stuff, show them your perfection, show them your beauty, show them your intelligence. I need you to go out into the world and show them and just make sure that they know what perfection is. I need them to know who you are so that they know what perfection is, so that their lives finally have meaning. And while you're out there, don't forget what your mother always says. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel. Cool. <laughs>